Hello and welcome back to One Shot. It appears that if you wait a little bit in between playing the game, you get this really cool image. I wonder... Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that... Really cute. <laughs> yeah. Still here. Yep. Wait, I had a dream just now. I saw. You did? Wow. I... I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back in my home world isn't a light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I would be able to hold it like I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. I live in this world. This this one. It's pretty good. It's got water. Um, keys. It's pretty cool things. Yeah, it's a pretty good world. 10 out of 10. IGN. Ah, I guess not. If you're the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home world called? Why would it be a secret? The moon is Earth. Earth. Like the stuff on the ground? Wait, do you live underground? Maybe? I'm gonna be honest with this, with the, with the Nico cat lady. Ah, neither do we. But shrews and field mice and stuff do. Does your world have a sun? Uh, yep. Big ball of fire. Really? Wow. Can you hold it? That was a silly question, wasn't it? This one in my home world is very bright. Warm, too. You saw, right? But it goes away sometimes at night. Everything gets dark, kind of like how this world is now. But it's okay, because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? Yeah, my world is like that too. Ah, do you sleep during the night? We go to sleep, usually. But some people stay up and use computers. That's me. That's what I'm doing. Yep. Wow. What a world. There's a bunch of them in this world. And anyway, we should probably get going. Yep. First things first, I'm gonna open the menu. Remember how to open the menu? It's not how you do it, it's this button. Go to settings. Go to settings. And full screen. Thanks. Okay, when we last left off, we went to bed. Um, and always, as like always, when you go to bed, you can't remember what you were thinking about doing the previous night. You had a lot of you had a lot of thoughts. You were like, "Man, when I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna conquer the world." But when you actually wake up, man, you just want to go back to sleep. You don't know nothing about saving the world. I remember the gas. Let's look at the items in our inventory. We got a light bulb, crowbar, gas mask, rubber gloves, strange journal bottle of smoke. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we were trying to uh, the robot guy. He's a ro he's a robot, you know, with the, with the R O W bot. And he's going to row us across this water to the inner the inner city, the 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 towards the tower. I think it was called the Glen. Also these pools are full of shrimp. I remember that. Right? A magical phosphor shrimp. I don't know what else I need. Okay, so there was these buildings. Hello, do you need any help? I, I, maybe. I guess you're not going to be that helpful, but... Ooh. This is some sort of hospital. Have I been in here yet? Oh, I think I have. 
No, maybe not. Hello, person. Are you seeking admission into the infirmary? No? Oh, carry on then. Maybe, what if there's cool stuff in there? It's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Oh, we got a syringe. Can I put the smoke from the bottle into the syringe? Okay. Can I inject the knowledge from this book into my brain? Okay, fair enough. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected. None. Treatment required. None. You are good to go. Great, thanks. Yeah, hear that? Good to go. So that, we hadn't been there before. There's a lot of robot town we have not yet explored. I think we went in here. There was a guy on the shelf, right? Or was that somewhere else? Pack stuff. Okay, so I already read that. What I happened in there? This other one had the guy on the shelf, right? Yeah. Hello. Hi. What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already read that. Poor guy. Stationed all by himself. And then there was this building. What was in here? Oh yeah, the broken computers. Trying to use them. Um, this building. Has some notes. Can't climb the ladder. Scared of ladders. There's power cell. The power is the guardian guy who's standing right there. This guy's pretty old. When you're around the settlement as well, do not be alarmed. It is their job to keep people safe. Interesting. I haven't noticed that, but if it does happen, I will not be alarmed. You have my, my word. I'm going to take this journal, and I'm going to give it to you. Stay safe. Oh, okay. Can't read this journal either. It's over here. I think this takes us back to the... Hmm. This takes us to... A bunch of pipes. Looks like... Oh, is this the chemical lab where we got the... These are the instructions, right? Do not overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. There's a recipe. Acidic gas, blue phosphor. In a well-ventilated area, direct gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. Okay. So we need blue phosphor. Where are we going to get... Phosphor. This is another time for the, for the trusty crowbar. Seems like it might be. I didn't. That wasn't my goal. But good thing I kept this crowbar. It is a good thing. It'd be very strange if you just threw it away. That did seem like something that. Would Take a lot. Oh, these guys aren't alive. Oh, it's a robot without power. I guess the generator can only do so much. It's pretty sad. It's a lot of robots. But I got the whole sun right here. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Two, without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. Note, elements begin to separate further. Shaking is required. Also note, hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half these words mean. It's a good thing you're here. Sure is. Cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Sounds useful. But it's not useful for the thing. Okay, so let's look at this again. Rip. I wanted to look at the first page the most. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. 
object vigorously to initiate the reaction use as soon as possible. Okay, so we need we got the syringe. We just need to Can I get the phosphor from the shrimp pools? Maybe. And I doubt it. Although that would be convenient. This shrimp pool doesn't have any stuff going on. What does this say? I think I've read this before. Yeah. Oh well. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Guardian. There's something cool up here? No, it's just another way around, I think. Yeah, it is. It's fine. Okay, let's try and... We can't even, like, interact with these things, so... Hmm. i find one that we can interact with. Maybe we can use it on a jar? Of shrimp? Here's a jar of shrimp. I need shrimpers so we get this jar. Now, what if I... Select the syringe. Any shrimp are swimming in this jar. Okay, so I can't syringe it directly out of the shrimp. Or out of the pool. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's any useful here. What's this segment? I don't know, what's on though? See what we got down here? What is that a sign? No, it's just water. Rare form of blue phosphor. Phosphor comes from the shrimp, right? Or no? Initially, the amount of oxygen is this. Once it comes from the mine, but we don't have the means to get around that safety violation. Hmm. Well, best thing to do in a situation like this is look at the quick travel. Shrimp small cookout point, outpost, old factory, entrance, dormitories, dogs, clip. Go to the old factory. Okay, this is the old factory. It's not what I thought. Fair enough. Hmm. Where to get blue phosphor? Hmm. Can't syringe right out of these. Jars. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Can't remember what kind of mine this was. Don't think it was a phosphor mine, though. I think phosphor comes to the shrimp. But, what? Take a look at the inventory. Any of these things we can buy, probably not. That's fun for rough surface. Hmm. Not sure what other goals I would even have other than. deliberation I think I figured it out this is this pond that was weird I totally forgot where it was I'm gonna stick a syringe in it hmm oh nice oh we did it okay so now I just need to remember the instructions and I think we have all the pieces so we combine the two things in a well-ventilated area. Said to do it quickly, so I better be down here already. Okay. Now I take the syringe, find it with the bottle of smoke. Yep. Nice. And now... Yep. Nice. Now we have a sponge. I have no other choice. Wow, that's sad. But true. I... 
can move again. Thank you, Art. Oh, I am able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Can you take me to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is the Glen port number. My built-in navigation circuits have fried. I'm gonna assume that's not good. It is not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Oh, Is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. Oh, okay. That's 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 something I can do. That's a that's an instruction that's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna just go to travel, and I'm gonna go to outpost. No, the lookout. I'm gonna go to travel, and I'm gonna go to the lookout. Yep. I'm gonna talk to you. Found a robot who can take me towards the tower, but it's having some trouble. So told me to talk to you. All right. What is the issue? It says something about its navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation cir circuits? Apparently. God and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. <gasps> it's a cutscene. That's pretty cool. That's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber from the Glen. What's the thing inside the amber? A black clover? That's a common plant in our world. It's also... Sigh. I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need to keep safe. Here. Oh, thank you. Got is her necklace. Before I go, is there anything I can do in this re in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess? Yeah. Well, sort of. Played it with some older kids before. And will you play the game with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well. But I guess it's the least I can do. Aw, oh, snap. It's chess. I'm really good at this. Thank you was built into my code. Ah, so what's it like being a robot and all? I've talked to other robots, and they all say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop. Taming is complicated. Oh. How complicated, exactly. There goes my other bishop. <laughs> Can't really explain what tamed robots are, but I'm one of them. All the other tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where, I do not know. Oh. There goes my little horse. Knight. Right. Oh, have you ever been to any other regions? I heard that there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have that data. Coordinates, the memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just the tipping point, and things went south really fast after that. Oh, then, there's nothing I can do? Check. What? When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you are only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the Barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. This guy's really- this girl's really pessimistic. Checkmate. Alright. I guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Ah, thank you also. Well, that was nice. Thank you, ma'am. Time. Fast travel. Thank you.
seconds, I guess. Seems close enough. Alright, we will explore the Glen in the next episode.